The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look at the German DAX and also the London FTSE. Both of those I've posted in the room, so you can take a look at what's happening over there. There's strong markets just like ours. They just keep going up, and someday they may come down, but maybe not in my lifetime. Well, folks, I've been asked to talk about some personal things uh, from two emails. Uh, one was, have I ever been involved with a um, protest like what's going on now? And and the answer to that is yes. It was 1967 when uh, the Vietnam War was going on. I felt very, very strongly that we shouldn't be there for a lot of reasons. I, I can't. I couldn't go into the service because I could during wartime, but I'm totally deaf in my left ear, so I was classified 4F. But my three cousins uh, lost their lives over there. One, they, two of them were um, second lieutenants in the. Uh, in, uh, in the army, and the other one was in uh, the Marines. Uh, they they didn't last very long, and uh, was very sad about that. So I I did do some protesting. You know, I marched in the street. You know, I didn't. Uh, we never did anything wrong. We just marched. You know, they didn't uh, do that kind of stuff back in those days. And the only reason that I did it was because uh, Muhammad Ali, Cassius Clay, who I had to follow his career. We we happened to be uh, the same age, and so I watched him, you know, be a boxer and all the stuff that he had done. And he lived in Louisville. I lived in Terre Haute. That's about 100 miles, 110 miles away. So I, I sort of followed his career. And he is, uh, I met him uh, twice, both times in Las Vegas. And uh, what, a, what a nice fellow he is. He's just as charismatic as you could possibly be. If you ever get a chance, go on to YouTube and listen to some of his talks. He was incredibly smart. And, uh, you know, he was really strongly against the war. And I had to say that, yes, uh, I had to. Uh, I didn't do it. We, we just protested because, you know, hey, we had all these people 8,000 miles away that were dying, lost 46,000 Americans, folks, over those years. And actually, we lost the war. We, we you know, uh, North, North Vietnam took over everything. And now it's a huge, thriving country. So those wars don't do very good. So that was my experience with being a protester. Um, never, you know, never involved with burning a flag. I would never do anything like that, but that was it. The second question is, how did I meet Sarah? Well, I was on a plane uh, in October of 19, excuse me, of 2006. I had just finished 10 years. That was my last speech in China. I'd been going there since uh, 1996. And I was giving, I was there three times a year giving speeches at all the, you know, the 11 or 12 uh, major universities there. I made a lot of nice friends, uh, you know, presidents of the college and stuff like that, which was really a lot of fun. But I was on my way home and I had stopped in Hong Kong uh, to visit. Uh, Mark, uh, hold on one second here. I've lost uh, just one second here. I want to see. Uh, <laughs> Okay, let's get on to uh, the next thing I want to make. Anyway, that's how I met her. Met on an airplane. That was basically it. Okay, uh, the uh, all right. Let's move on to the next one here. All right, let's talk about natural gas, folks. We've been watching this for quite some time. Uh, this has held up relatively well. We are now up. We'll get up here. You'll be able to see here that uh, this is where we are. We've had that 135 pattern that we talked about over the last three days uh, where, where it's now up about six bucks. So if you're in that, you know, make sure you don't lose. So put your stop at, you know, say 177 and pray for the best because uh, you, you're in a risk-free situation and that's a that's really a good situation to be in. All right, now we'll move on to the next one that we want to talk about, and that is the gold market. Folks, uh, we've been negative on gold for a while here, mainly because of the price action, and that's what we look at. We don't look at any fundamentals. I want to reiterate what we have here in the uh, – uh, hold on. This is the, the seasonality chart we got from our good friend, 
uh, Bill Meridian, and you'll notice the seasonalities for June and July are is about as bad as it gets. It's the third third worst time of the year, and with the pattern of the double tops and everything, you know that's really not a very good sign. And that was one of the reasons why we were looking at the secondary reason, of course, was uh, the fact that you know if you take if just took a look at the silver chart. You know, it was screaming that, you know, there could be a big double top up here. We'll get this up here and we'll just draw it in. And you'll notice here, uh, those of you that have been watching, is we, we went there. We took out, we matched those highs from December, February. And we took it out by a penny. Gee, that's not a very bullish breakout, is it? Now we've dropped uh, a better. We hit 98, 1898, and we've dropped over a dollar uh, an ounce. So that tells us that the market is, uh, you know, looking relatively, uh, relatively shaky. So uh, that's one of the reasons why we were looking at. In the gold market, of course, you know, we'll pull this up and take a look at it, but we were watching the gold at the um, 786 level up there, and uh, it broke pretty good. We've Now we've come all the way down to 1709 last night, folks, so that's not a good sign. So we'll see whether that, uh, that happens uh, at all. So anyway, uh, we'll move that on in a second. Okay, let's move on here to the next one uh, that I wanted to bring to your attention. Uh, just give me one second. I've got to get it up here. Where is it? Oh, this is the gold right here. Just wanted to show you here, folks, because this is uh, something that we sent out. Uh, we sent these out last night about 9 o'clock at night. You'll notice here we had this uh, three drive to a bottom pattern. And, you know, one thing we alerted is that, you know, be really careful here because if this breaks this, you know, we're going lower, which we thought we were going to do. But that did rally a little bit. It rallied from um, 25 all the way up to 37. And then it course it had a uh, you know really big break to the downside and that was uh, one of the things that we were looking at now and let's just say where we are now I'm just going to walk you through this just for the heck of it this is where we are now you see the three drive to a bottom pattern there on June 3rd you see the nice rally up to the 382 at 1737 and now we've broken down here to the downside and so that's where we are now we've come down a total a total of 60 bucks, uh, $62 from the high, which we know is two times the harmonic number in gold. So we should be looking at something interesting. So just for kicks and giggles, I uh, posted something. We're going to take a look at this. It may or may not work, but all you have to do is uh, defy human nature, do the work yourself. But at 945, keep an eye on the gold, because if it's making a low down there, and if it is, then you've got a chance for a very, very low risk buy, if in fact, that's uh, the way uh, the way that it works. So we'll see whether that happens or not. Okay, anything else that we have? Any questions that you have? It's 877-927-6648. And we do have uh, Arch Crawford as our guest today. So that's very important, folks. We also have this lunar eclipse coming in. It's the red moon. They call it the strawberry moon or the red moon coming in on Friday. Uh, Tim Bost will be our guest that day. And uh, next week, uh, we're going to have uh, Bill Chapman as our guest. And uh, most probably, we'll have uh, Norman Winsky as our guest also. So we'll have some people coming in. Stan Harley will be with us again. And we certainly want to talk to Bill Meridian one more time. And then I have someone else that I've been trying to get on the on the horn for quite a while, and that's Larry Williams. Uh, he doesn't like to get up that early anymore, but uh, we'll try to do that. And we get back, I want to talk about... The U.S. dollar, 877-927-6648. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the crude oil. Uh, this is something we've been watching for quite some time. We tried it yesterday. Uh, we lost about 80 pips on it the first time. And then last night, as you can see, we completed the really nice three drive to a, pot, uh, three drive to a uh, top pattern, 1.618 expansion, and it's broken $2.00. Uh, uh, a barrel so far, so that's working in our favor. Uh, we'll get back to that gold uh, in just a second because we've uh, broken down making new lows now at uh, 1706. There should be some magical numbers down there around even, they usually are, at around 1699 or something, but we'll keep a, a close eye on that. Um, Tucker asked a question, is uh, do I use trend uh, on, the, on the natural gas? Uh, what do I look for uh, as a trend change? Uh, I really don't look at it that way, Tucker. Basically, I look at the patterns. I'm not so much worried about the trend. I, I know one thing is that once the market moves beyond the 78% level, in this case, it would be above, uh, I believe, 198. That would tell us that this market has definitely changed trend. But the trend does not uh, affect me very much, and I'll tell you why. I look at the patterns. I really don't care you know, what the trend is. All I'm looking at is where the entry could be because these patterns that we look at – have three things going for them. I'll repeat it again. One, they are predictable within limits, usually around 70%. The second thing is they repeat over and over and over again. Okay, and they do it on a very, very regular basis. And the third thing, they are predictable within limits. And those are the three things that Andrew Lowe talked about in his book, The Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street, which was written uh, basically on, on Archer's birthday, uh, uh, April the 17th of 2000. That happens to be April 17th happens to also be uh, J.P. Morgan's uh, birthday. Now, I wanted to talk just a little bit about the U.S. dollar here. 
I'll get this chart up because I think it's relatively important. Okay, here is the U.S. dollar, and we have been talking about this because once we broke below that 98.70 level, it said that we were probably going to go down. Now, I posted the 1.618 expansion. That's the time from uh, April uh, 30th all the way up into May 13th. But look at what, well, look what's happened here, folks, over the last eight days. The market was down eight days in a row. Now, many years ago, Ago. I met I met Larry Williams in 1965. He was his account was at Conti Commodities there in Westwood. Well, actually, it was at uh, um, uh, right across the street at Clayton Brokerage, which was from Clayton, Missouri, which was owned by Bill and well, actually by Roy Longstreet. Bill was just uh, just a kid. He was pretty much my age. But that's a. Uh, that that's that's how I met Larry, and we automatically became friends. He had a service in uh, Carmel, California, with Michelle Noseworthy, and uh, the uh, it was basically called commodity timing. And Larry has spent his life researching stuff, and he and he's really done some great work. And I've I've purchased just about everything he's ever he's ever given, especially during the times during 1976. In 1982, because I was at Drexel and anything I wanted to buy, Drexel was happy to pay for it. So I attended everything that he had. And one of the seminars that he talked about was probabilities. In other words, if the market goes up three days in a row, what is the probability of a correction? What is the probability after four, five, six, or seven? Well, the magic number that Larry spoke about quite a bit is eight. And this is what we've had happening now in the U.S. dollar index. We're down eight days. When we've actually went down eight days in a row, which we've sort of been expecting because the euro has been relatively strong and the Canadian dollar and all the others have been pretty strong too. But now what we've done is the probability of the market going down more than eight days is less than 15%. So here you have a situation where the market should have at least a counter trend bounce here, and that's what we're looking for uh, if we get that. Now, the euro uh, you know, had a lot of resistance up there at that uh, 112 uh, 25 level. We posted that in the video last night, and uh, it was you know acting pretty much like what we thought. So those are the things that I'm looking at to see whether you know they're going to uh, – going to hold up or not. So that's pretty much it. Um, <laughs> okay, folks, that's not going to happen. All right, let's move on here just a little bit here. And we've got Arch coming up here in about seven minutes, which will be uh, really good to talk about. And we want to think about, you know, what, what he's got to say here. Let's take a quick look here to review since I said something about the uh, the uh, the gold market. Let's just review the last price I have on this puppy is at uh, 17. Well, we did hit 05, and now we're trading at 09. But the price, the the time to watch this, folks, is at uh, 9:45. That'll be we'll we'll be on with Arch at the time. But watch the gold at 9:45 and see if it's going to have much of a rally from this point. And we will keep a uh, Keep a close eye on that, that's for sure. All right, let's move on to the next question that someone had, and that is about the uh, possibility of hyperinflation. Folks, we don't see any of that yet, but we will start to see that. Part of this is the will be the will be the meat complex. You know, they're backing off a little bit right now, but eventually down the road there is going to be problems with supply in both hogs and cattle. Because these guys have just not, they're not expanding their herds. They have no reason to expand their herds. Uh, first of all, it's hard to get employees to work. And the second reason is the economics of it at this price level is not very good. And that leads to higher prices. The cure for higher prices is higher prices. And the cure for lower prices is lower prices. So those are just a few things that uh, you got to remember. The reason why that is is with the prices get high, you got more supply coming in because people have profits at those levels and when people when the prices are very low uh, people come in and start to accumulate inventories and that's what makes the prices go up but really it's all related to the cycles there was a uh, another question that someone had about the astrology stuff and and one of the they asked me what was one of the big things in astrology that I thought well I remember 2000 and uh, nine. That was a really big one. But the one before that was in 1989 on November the 9th. I was writing the uh, Astro Cycles newsletter. And uh, I put in that newsletter that if this wasn't on every page of the every newspaper in the world, 
that I would give everybody a free one-year subscription to the AstroCycles newsletter and hotline. I said it's going to be really big, folks. I, you know, I was, I, I said I didn't know what was going to happen to the market. It was '89, you know, two years after the, the crash, and it was. It was one of the biggest things that's ever happened, and it was the fall of the Berlin Wall on November the 9th, 1989. And uh, it did nothing to the market. The market just did its usual thing. And so uh, I, I, I know when these things finally turn, they probably are astrological related. But by golly, you know, look at the market, what it's done now. We just hit 3,100, folks. Uh, no, we did. Yeah, we hit uh, 3,101 in the S&P, which is, uh, you know, stop and think. We were down there in the 2100, uh, 2300, 2200 level. We've rallied that much in, in the fact that, you know, we had, uh, I don't think we have coronavirus vi uh, virus anymore because uh, nobody's talking about it, which I guess is good. I've always felt that that was probably going to be the case. But those are just a few of the things. And by golly, you know what? The old clock on the wall says my uh, jaws are getting tired, so we're probably going to have to uh, take a break here for a second. And then we will have Arch Crawford of Commodity, uh, the Commodity Guy from Crawford Perspectives. He's going to talk to us about gold and the stock market and the secrets to the universe. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento watches the markets 24-7, and now is a great time to try out his daily trading service, Fibonacci 24-7. Larry publishes videos and charts for subscribers throughout the week when warranted, and every weekend he puts out a thorough report covering worldwide markets, futures, commodities, and currencies with Fibonacci retracement levels, possible trading setups and zones, and stops and targets for all recommendations included. Larry applies the principles he's developed Developed over decades of trading while analyzing a variety of markets for subscribers. To see for yourself the types of videos, charts, and analysis that Larry provides for his subscribers, sign up for Fibonacci 24-7 today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. You'll also gain instant access to Larry's archived subscriber webinar from earlier this year. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Arch Crawford of Crawford Perspectives on the line. Arch, are you there? 
I believe. Oh, that's my boy. Listen, my friend, we've been through just about everything in these uh, trading markets since we've known each other for 35 years. Uh, folks, Arch is four years older than me, born on April the 17th. I've already mentioned that oh, was... Look. Yeah, isn't that truth? Hey, listen, the question that I have, Arch, is uh, we've seen this market, you know, keep climbing, you know, with some of the worst uh, news that we've ever had. Uh, what's your feeling of what's going on? Is there something astrological that's calling this? And, and I want to say something about the front page of the Wall Street Journal first. The, the headline, you know, it's a picture of the looting, and it says, Looting Mars demonstrations, angering businesses and activists. In other words, it says Mars and angering in the same sentence. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. So it, 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 it works both ways. <laughs> it, it sure what, what does. Everybody else understands and what the astrologers understand is in is in line on the front page of the journal here. <laughs> Arch, if you if you remember back in uh, in, in uh, 2001, we you and I were talking when the first plane hit. We were on the phone, and uh, the thing that I remember most, folks, was the Pentagon was hit about, I don't remember, it was a couple hours later, I believe, and Arch had called me and told me that the Pentagon had been hit, and the news service didn't have it for 15 or 20 minutes after you had told me. I remember that, uh, you know, very vividly, and that how emotional the times were. I mean, these times are not nearly as emotional as those times were. But, Sam, the question that someone's asked us is, do you think what's happening, you know, with the uh, looting and, the, you know, all this other stuff, is it going to change uh, society much like a 9-11 did? I mean, where we had to, you know, go through airports and, you know, go through all the, the hoops to uh, stop terrorists. W what's your feeling on this? Well, I think um, it was done originally with the coronavirus. Uh, the, uh -huh. the changes were made, um, and it wasn't that bad. You know, mm -hmm. they they told us that 2.2 million Americans would die, mm -hmm. and that they took all of the responses based on that as a fact, and. Um, so they put all these terrible restrictions on us, and now they're finding out that none of them worked. So the restrictions, <laughs> they brought it out, and they made those restrictions on us improperly. And yeah, I'm why? very angry about that. Well, I, I have a little bit of that myself, my friend. I feel we've been duped like we always are usually. But, you know, what's amazing is, look, we're, we're looking at the stock market, uh, Arch. We just hit 31.05 uh, in the S&P. You know, it's up about 800 points, uh, yes, from the bottom. And, uh, you know, people people ask me what's going on. I said, I you know, I don't know. Once it went above 2940, I said, my goodness, you know, the, the, the news is so bad, and yet the market keeps going up. And one thing that I remember is if, if the news is really bad and things keep going higher, they're going to go higher. So, I, you know, I've been standing aside there. And, uh, you know, but what's your feeling on the stock market here, Arch? Are we going to make new highs, and is there some type of a top up in here? Well, the the NDX, the the, the hot shot stocks, Nasdaq stocks, the NDX 100, is right a hair under its old high, um, 96, 96, 78, and I, I can't tell exactly what the high is, but it's only a, like a couple of handfuls of points above that is the old high. Uh, I was looking. One of the things I was noticing is how far the NDX is above its 200-day moving average, mm -hmm. the S&P is a little bit above it, and the Dow Jones is a little bit below it. So there's a, okay. it's, a, it's a very radical um, difference between what's going up and what's not mm -hmm. going up so much. So that's another thing that's happening in the market. Mm -hmm. um, I, am, oh. I am concerned right now about, you know, we start this three eclipse group. Um, what is it, tomorrow, the next day? It's the fifth. Uh, we have the full moon and the lunar eclipse on the fifth. Yeah. So we have a lunar eclipse on the fifth, 14 days later, the solar eclipse, and then 
14 days later, another lunar eclipse. And they're all <coughs> tightly aligned with negative outer planets. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm, uh, I'm taking that into consideration right now. And actually, I'm mm -hmm. saying to show it under certain conditions in the newsletter. Okay, that sounds pretty good, uh, Arch. One of the questions We're not that um, yet. <laughs> yeah, okay. One of the questions that someone's brought to our attention today to ask you is: You've been extremely good with the gold market, and uh, what's your feeling on the gold at, at this level, or in the uh, future? What are you I'm looking tied at? For number one in the bond market, and tied for number four in the, the gold market over the last twelve months. <laughs> well, that's really good. No, that's what's why you're. Uh, that's why you get the big bucks, my friend. That's why you get the big bucks. <laughs> Isn't hey, it true? Uh, <laughs> okay, Arch. We got gold trading at around seventeen twelve right now. Uh, we had a high at uh, what seventeen seventy something, what seventeen fourteen right now. But what uh, what do you what do you think uh, the outlook for gold is? And say the next uh, two months is what the person is asking us. I believe it's getting ready to take off again, and I'm waiting for uh, the strength to come in, and I don't see it yet. And I'm, uh, but it's staying in a very tight hundred point range since um, early April. Mm -hmm. It's been a low of um, around 1680. It dipped a little bit below that to 60 something. Uh, once in April, but that was just a little spike down. And we've hit 1670, 1680, 1685, three or four times. Um, and the highs, you know, the, the high was back in um, early April. And we had a, a secondary high, uh, what was it, about the 17th or 18th this month? Uh -huh. uh, I mean, not last month, excuse me, we're in June now. Um, and a lower high now, uh, so I'm cautious with a lower high and a uh, break in the 200-day moving average again. So I am looking for the buy point, and I expect it fairly soon, but I'm not going to jump in until the technicals improve. I mean, I'm, I'm in. I've got long-term positions. I've got half of my IRA in gold and silver stock index. IRA, you're not you're not old enough to retire. What are you talking about, boy? You're only seven months older than me. We're not supposed to retire till we're 103. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Arch, I have my a my plan. What, what? You know, I'm writing the newsletter. You remember Joe Granville and Richard Russell? Yes, Joe that's died right. At Ninety um, yep. about five years ago, and Russell yeah. about four years ago at 91. They were born yeah. the same year. Wow. Well, let's let's keep that dream alive. Hey, we got to pay a few bills. Would you stay with us, please? Yeah. We'll be right back, folks. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. 
Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, we're back, folks, with Arch Crawford of Crawford Perspectives, and we were talking about two of the old masters in this business, Richard Russell and uh, Oh, and Joseph Granville, and I know you were friends with both of them, especially Joe Granville, and I've had a few stories myself, but he was a real gentleman. And Sam, tell the folks about how he would move the market when he said something, you know, back in the uh, mid-70s, up until about 1980. He he literally ruled the stock market, didn't he? He was, uh, he, he he was really... very hot, and his methods were good, and he got to writing a book, and he, he went down the tube because he wasn't paying that much attention to the market. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he certainly was hot for a while. I know he used to say something, and the market would move 30 points, and that's when the Dow was trading at about uh, you know, 11 or 1,200. Right. So it, it was, was, it was yeah. big moves, and it was hot mm -hmm. news. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Uh, what yeah, I was, was saying good. about them was that they, they died at 90 and 91, and they wrote their letters right up to the last week before they died. <laughs> Wow. That's my wow. plan. <laughs> well, that's there you go. As long as you can keep writing, you're you're okay then, right? If you stop writing, then you're in big trouble. That's the way I look at it myself. <laughs> I, I was about, about 20 years ago, I told my, my daughter, Jill, I said, I think I'm going to retire. And she laughed at me and said, and do what? <laughs> <laughs> so right. it's a, that's about right. So anyway, we've been well, pretty we lucky. With, stuff. Yeah, we certainly do. I I, I met Arch in 1987, and we've had a, we've been on many shows together and stuff. And of course, he lives down the street from me today here in uh, Tucson, Arizona. What did you think of our protests here uh, in Tucson, uh, Arch? You know, did you know half the half the groups were armed? Did you know that they were carrying they were carrying handguns and long guns, and there was no problem anywhere. So, who knows? We'll see. I didn't what do you know, think? What do you think of the, the pro news, protests? I, I wasn't oh, listening to that. Yeah, well, me too. But the question regarding cycles, uh, I know you use the astrology stuff. Is that all you use, Sam, or do you use any classical astrology work, like from the foundation, from the study of cycles, or you know, uh, seasonalities and things like that? Do you figure that into your work at all? Of course. Um, I've always used seasonality. That, that's a very strong influence on the markets. Um, and okay. some years it, it doesn't work, but it works a, a majority of the time, which makes it something you need to keep an eye on. That's for sure. Now, do you use the second question that we have from one of our listeners? Do you use a specialized uh, astro program for your work? How do you get your data? Um. I use the, the Astro Analyst and, um, to, to compute many of these cycles, and now I don't have a machine that Astro Analyst will work on. It's an old DOS machine uh, program, and uh, so I, I use the figures that I got from 
the market in the 90s mostly. Mm-hmm. Well, as long, as long as you have the, the, date, the dates, uh, that's really all you need, isn't it? That's right. Oh, that's good. Okay, we have a question. Since you were a good uh, bond trader, uh, what's your feeling on the Treasury bonds here with the government, you know, printing paper, you know, like uh, <laughs> Kleenex is making, you know, box tissue. So uh, what do you think is going to happen? Are rates going to go to negative or not? <clears throat> yes. You really think the rates are going negative? Okay, tell us about that. Well, I uh, everybody else has already gone fairly negative, and we're headed that way. And, and if you just look at the, what is it, the TNX, the, the 10-year bond rate, it's been dropping like a stone from I, I, it recently. I, I mean, in the last year, a year and a half, from 3.24 to point under point six. Wow. So uh, I'd say I go with the trend until the trend changes. Well, that makes pretty good sense. We have one other question, uh, Arch, and that is uh, about the U.S. dollar. What's your feeling here? Do you follow the U.S. dollar at all? Because is it related to gold? That's the question. And what do you think is going to happen with the U.S. dollar? I uh, watch the dollar index and... Um, you can trade that. It's a future. And um, okay. it had the wildest kind of move in March. It went from uh, almost 100 down to 94.50 in days and then turned around and ran up to 104, 10 points. And uh, that's 10%, better than 10%. And um, for a currency, that's a, a pretty big move in a short time. And for the major currency of the world, it's absolutely unbelievable. Um, so anyway, it's been coming down since then. It, it came back down from 104, and it uh, stayed in a range of 98 to 101, and it triangulated, getting narrower, and is now broken down on the downside in the last six trading days mm-hmm. and has dropped uh, from like 100.5 to now it's 97.5 this morning. Okay. So it's dropping and it broke the 200-day moving average about four days, four trading days ago. And um, it don't look good. Okay. Uh Oh, we have one other question, and that is, uh, is there any major significance to the fact that we have three eclipses during the month of June? Well, the first, the last one is on July the 4th. Oh, July 4th. Fact, it's a, okay. It, it's a powerful negative, uh, and it's on our birthday, and that is not a good sign. Oh, Wow. Hey Arch, how about uh, how about this? How about you coming back as our guest? Uh, since it's going to be July, maybe on uh, Wednesday, July first, you could be our guest. Uh, first, second, or third? Could you pick one of? The, let's do it on Friday the third because that's coming into the fourth of July, and uh, I don't know. What, I think the holiday will be uh, on um, uh, July fourth. Where will they? Where the, if it falls on a Saturday. It will, are they going to make it on the 3rd? will be the holiday. How about you come on uh, August, uh, the, uh, July the 2nd? How about that? All right. Whatever day is the last day of trading. Okay. I will put you down here for Arch Crawford on the 2nd of July, and we'll mark that, and we'll be able to uh, get you on and talk about that because those are the kind of things that you're really, really super good at, and that's why your timing on this stuff has been so good in, in the uh, – in the bonds and also in the gold. So we'll have you on at that time. And listen, I want we'll to thank you for... the good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. <laughs> hey, you know, like the, oh, my grandpa said, always stay on the green side of the grass and only read the obituaries once a day. So that's what I'm trying to do. So keep the faith, my friend, and stay well, okay? Very good. God bless okay. you all. God bless you. 
Arch Crawford, folks. Crawford Perspectives of Tucson, Arizona. And we're going to come back here with a break. We've got to pay a few bills here for uh, TFNN, and then we will uh, keep talking about uh, some of these markets that we've been chatting about today, that they're in a nice situation with all these lunar things coming up and also the solar eclipse coming up. It's going to be uh, you know quite a bit. The solar eclipse comes in on the uh, the 21st of July, that'll be the new moon. And then, of course, uh, Sam, just remember, we'll be right back. Back in the day, I joined the Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, Bam! as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us. And Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. Bam! If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets. This is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the the direction of the key indices, selective stocks and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right, folks, we'll get back to the markets. As you can see here, we hit the high of uh, 3105 so far in the S&P. And I say, oh, so, so far. Oh, actually, the high was uh, 05 and a half. We're trading at 99 and three quarters right now. So uh, we've got some really good buying in the air because it looks like the uh, coronavirus is all taken care of. And it looks like the protesters are going to go back home to take care of their crops and their children. So everything is good in Camelot again, and we want to thank everybody for joining us. That's the main thing, and listening to what we have to say here at TFNN, because we don't deal in fake news, folks. We deal in charts, 
And that's the main thing that we want to keep in mind as we look at some of these things uh, each day. I do believe, of, of course, that I, I think we're at least in, in, this is my personal opinion again, I, I believe that this crude oil has made some type of a major top up in here. Uh, the the uh, one that we talked about uh, last night, I sent out a video on this, of course, but uh, we did make that uh, three drive pattern. You can see it over the from the 29th to the 3rd. Uh, it was, if you did all the ABC D's on it, you could see that they all came up here to this 38 level, and it's broken $2 uh, a barrel so far, and then we've come back about 80 cents so far. So the key level here to watch is uh, this uh, 3750 uh, level. If we get above that, that would tell us that maybe this is not right. We've got oil figures coming in today uh, after, uh, I think it's at 1030 this morning, and so that'll usually make the market jump around a little bit. But again, we don't really care about that because we really don't watch the figures. We watch how the market responds to those figures, but the numbers themselves, you know, really don't uh, really don't mean very much at all. So those are the main things. Another question that you know we talked about a little bit about cryptocurrencies and blockchains during our one day webinar that we had on the twenty first. And the one thing that we did, we had one of these little ones that we put a few pennies in, and uh, it's up about 25% uh, from where we were. But, you know, th this is just funny money, folks, because I don't know what's happening to these things. You know, they have the, 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 the Bitcoin, you know, drops 10% in two hours. So you got to be very careful over there. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And we'll see you tomorrow with Andy Pancholi across the pond over there in the UK, the Cycles Dude.